Hi everybody. Uh, welcome to another live stream. Hope you're doing good today. And um, let's get right into it. Last week, we were talking about um, uh, about the four basic waveforms in, uh, in synthesis. We got the uh, sine, the uh, saw, the square tooth, and the triangle. And then we were also taking a look at how we could affect those just simply with our um, with our voltage controlled oscillator or excuse uh, voltage controlled amplifier excuse me our VCA which is what we commonly know as volume so let's dive right back into that um, we've got uh, we've got our volume here is our attack decay sustain release those are settings that you will find on many, many different synthesizers. I'm just using Logic's Alchemy because I'm a little familiar with it and it's a stock plugin. Um, but whatever you use generally will have attack, decay, sustain, release, or ADSR for short. Um, and so let's get this music or sound playing. Here we go. Cool. I got a little equalizer here so you can see what's happening if you're interested in that. Um, so here we go. A very fast attack, uh, sustain is all the way up. So it's just gonna stay at the same volume and then kind of a longish release. So what I wanted to do today was to, uh, add a filter and filters are amazing. They are one of the building blocks to how we can shape our sound. So I'm going to just click this filter on automatically you can totally hear a difference. Um, so right now we've got a LP, which stands for low pass, um, meaning that the lows are allowed to pass through the filter and the highs are gonna be filtered out, the highs are removed. So it's kind of like, um, I don't, I don't know, something like it, it seems backwards to me, but that's how it is. <laughs> LP, low pass, lows get through. Um, and here's our cutoff frequency. Again, this is, this is all within Logic Alchem Logic's Alchemy, but um, cutoff is going to be pretty much universal in um, in the filters. Uh, right now, this is set to 556 hertz, so pretty low in the spectrum. Let's open this up a little bit, and you can hear the sound changing, and it will allow us to go all the way up to I think 20k, 20,000 hertz. Cool. Maybe let's bring this down a little bit. Okay, cool. And this is pretty cool just in and of itself, right? Can totally change how our wave is sounding. Just like that. And another really, really common feature of our filters is something called resonance. And it's basically just a little, um, it's a boost in the filter at the cutoff frequency. So, where are we at right now? 1997. What a great year. Uh, that is our cutoff frequency. So if we add some resonance, it is going to add a boost at that frequency of 1997. You can hear it there. Let's probably see it too. Yep, there we go, right here. Keep on pushing this up higher and higher. It gets a little bit Sorry if that was loud for you all. <laughs> Sorry about that, my mistake. Um, so resonance is kind of cool just because it's like a little extra, a little extra flavor you can add to your uh, to your filter. Um, and these are very. Let me stop this for a second. Um, you know, filters are obviously a way that we can adjust our sound. And you may be thinking, Nathan, I don't play synthesizer. I don't give a dang about this information. And you can take this information and apply it to whatever you may be doing. Let's say you are a piano player and you want to get a better control of your instrument. I would challenge you to just say, pick one note and then find how many different tones you can get out of it just by pressing that note. Um, 
you could push you could push it down very slowly you know not using much force and it's obviously going to be a little bit on the quieter side and uh, some of the higher frequencies are going to be muted versus if you push it down really hard really fast going to be louder and the tonal quality will change it will become brighter uh, similarly if you play the guitar I uh, pluck a string quietly um, pay attention to the the envelope like we were just talking about um, how fast how fast does it does the attack come in I know it's kind of a little ab it may be a little bit differently to think about it but if you think of how you're playing your instrument in terms of the attack of it the decay the sustain and the release it could maybe open up some cool doors for you that's why i'm bringing this up um same i i play acoustic bass so whenever i use the bow same thing how the the attack of the bow and then plus the the, the tonality of it um i can hear different overtones ringing out based on how i'm playing with the bow and i'm not as good as I would like to be. So I can't control those as much as I would like to, but the point is still there that we still have control over what we're filtering out. Um, regardless of if it's an electronic or a, um, I don't know, acoustic instrument. Um, so let's get back into this sound that we've got right now. Okay. Right. Cool. Um, let me, you don't want to see my face. Uh, here we go. So the, this is not really a sound that I'm vibing with right now, so let's just change it up a bit. Okay, cool. I like this better. So, what I want to do now is the same way that we had an envelope, the attack decay sustain release envelope for our volume. I want to apply an attack decay sustain release ADSR envelope to our filter. This is going to open up some worlds. Do do do. New ADSR. La di da. All right, we are back to our original sound. Let's get that going. And Logic has, there we go. Logic has something that they call depth. Um, right here, it's the depth of the filter. Another really common term is called amount. How much, how much of the, of this envelope are you wanting to apply to your filter right now we have no amount of envelope zero percent depth applying to our filter so the more we apply let me actually change this right quick just so we can hear it and then we'll talk about it okay cool so now you can hear the envelope functioning right let's even be a little more dramatic Nice. Yes. It's not there yet, but we can start to hear the beginnings of maybe like a trombone. Um, so let's keep opening this envelope. There we go. So you can determine how much depth you want to add to your... Uh, your envelope and logic is super cool you can go the opposite direction right i need to open that up more so you can start with it fully open filter and then close it right maybe pronounce that more yes like a lazy laser gun <laughs> cool um Let's bring this back. Let's put our depth back on the positive side. And that positive side, not not every envelope is going to offer that. Or excuse me, the negative side, not every envelope is going to offer it. Um, but this is cool because we're in the obviously the digital domain, so we got a lot of options. That's one cool thing about um, soft synthesizers, uh, software synthesizers. Let's see here. So cool. This sounds kind of cool. Let's bring this down even more. I kind of like this attack time. I kind of like this sound. Maybe a little bit slower. A little less on the, ah. 
Sometimes it's a little... I like that. Now let's add in this resonance. Check it out. Now that our filter is moving, our resonance is gonna move. Let's make it more pronounced so you can see it better. Yes. Bring you over more. So that's cool. The resonance now is being affected by our uh, envelope as well. Doesn't sound great to me, but it's cool. Cool to know that it's available. Maybe let's bring it down. This kind of determines what sort of tone you want to wind up with at the end. Yes, exactly. It's applicable to everything in life. Sorry, I just noticed this, Maria. Um, our example, our voices, totally. Voices is like the first instrument. Um, so just playing around with that and exploring that is going to help your music um, because it'll make you aware of what is possible and then it'll also help you realize sounds that may be in your head and then realizing those sounds and making those sounds come to life. Um, this still is a little fat. Maybe it's not fast, but maybe I just don't want it as pronounced. Let's bring it down a little bit. That's kind of cool. Um, so I could spend a lot of time just twiddling these knobs and getting sounds that I think are cool. Um, but I hope, I hope you like the idea of, you know, applying, applying not only filters, but also envelopes to the filter. Um, and you can do all sorts of wacky stuff. Uh, for example, we could change our envelopes. I'm going to put the filter envelope to our volume envelope. I'm going to put the volume envelope to our filter envelope and let's see what happens. All right. It comes out a little bit slower. Nothing crazy. Let's switch them back. I think this is good for creativity. I think being limited with resources forces you to be more creative. So if we're just playing with two simple envelopes, it's going to force us to like come up with something. Which one am I on right now? Okay. Cool. Totally different vibe. And you notice when I bring the sustain down here, what it does is it takes it back to the, um, back within the relationship of our, um, of our filter range. It's about it. What is it? 43%. So it's about, a, it winds up at about 43% here. Logic does a great job visualizing that you bring it all the way down. And it's going to come all the way back to uh, where the filter starts, which is at 171 Hertz. Very low. Let's bring out that too. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Very cool. Nice. I like that sound. Um, so let's see here. Let's stop this from happening. AKA push stop. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I hope that was cool for you. Um, went on a little bit longer than I wanted to, but it is what it is. Um, let's see here. What else did I want to say? Oh yeah. So I think, um, I think, uh, a couple of things, a couple of ingredients that are important to our success are, um, to, to, like I mentioned, to stay creative. Sometimes it's better to have less options. And I think, um, I think, I think that starts with, um, I think that starts with being grateful for the options that we do have, like to truly sincerely be grateful for what we have and utilizing it to its fullest potential. Um, and then kind of hand in hand with that is to always let our, always stay in wonder. And by that, I mean, always stay creative, always stay looking and going towards whatever is sparking your creativity, whatever you may be interested in, just keep going, following that. And, um, I think you'll get to, a good place. Uh, it'll be an original place and it will be, uh, it will be you because it's what you're interested in. 
So uh, stay grateful, stay curious. And um, I offer lessons if anybody wants to study this stuff more, do some general music stuff. Um, I would love to help you out. I'm a uh, graduate of uh, Manhattan School of Music. I studied double bass there. And uh, so I've, I've got some experience with music and I would love to help you out uh, achieving your musical goals, whatever they may be. I offer a uh, money back guarantee. So if you don't like the, uh, the lessons or the service or whatever, I'll give you your money back. No problem. Um, just want to help you realize the music that, uh, that you enjoy. And with that, I will see you all next Friday, 2 PM Eastern time. I hope you have a great weekend and I'll see you later.